Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And I'm Brian Hart. And Brian is the only male featured. No, there's plenty of men featured, but only men displayed, I should say, in our book. That sounds actually kind of racy. <laughs> Sorry. Displayed? It's, well, here. It's like a centerfold? Yeah, well, you are the centerfold. Here. He's Bill. The, he's the centerfold chef. Here, wait. Get close up here. Build your own bowls and handheld meals and dinner feasts. The picture here for this dinner section is Brian holding this amazing bowl that we're going to make today. And the bowl is called Black Ramen Bowl. And here it is on page 247. And it is displayed in the way that we're going to make it today. We're going to kind of show you how you put things in the bottom of the bowl, build it up, Fill it up more and then stir it all together. So it's kind of a process. And Brian, would you kind of explain where we are in this process? Sure. So there's a lot of ways to make ramen. Um, you're, you, you probably have your way. Um, this is just one way that I uh, created over the years to try to make it as simple as possible and not take a lot of time. Um, really, to me, making ramen is about assembling a bunch of vegetables in a bowl and then adding hot water and noodles essentially to it. And with I'll, the magic on the bottom. Yeah, with the, but you, you put the flavoring on the bottom first and then you stir it up. And that's just my easy way of making it. And so today, what, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take a bowl. We're going to put some flavoring at the bottom of the bowl. So we're going to put, we're going to put some curry paste and we're going to put some um, miso. miso and, 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 hoisin. and hoisin sauce at the bottom of a bowl. Then we're going to take sauteed vegetables, put them on top, um, put some tofu in there. Then we're going to take some reheated... Um, forbidden rice ramen. Forbidden rice ramen from mm. Lotus Foods is our favorite. Lotus Foods. Favorite. We'll have Wade fly in the QR code because... Um, or whatever it is, the website for these guys, because this, is, this, makes it, this, makes it, this makes it black ramen. Right, this is what makes it black ramen. Um, we'll, throw some, so we'll throw some raw tofu in there. Just to have a big taste. <laughs> yeah, we'll throw some raw, temp, uh, raw tofu in there, and then we'll top it off with some chopped fresh scallions. And uh, it's hot, just a- Hot water. And hot water, of course. Hot water will make the broth with. So that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do first is saute the vegetables. And so we've already pre-cut the veggies here. Now let me <coughs> just make one comment, and that is Brian. It is, a, it is incredible to watch Brian prepping. And he knows just how much of the, each thing he should do. And he is able to say, okay, just one third of the onion is all I need. Amazing. Well, you'll see here on the board, so we've got some chopped up pre-baked potatoes, which we're just going to throw into the bowl. Um, we're not going to worry about sauteing those, but we are going to saute zucchini, mushrooms, carrots, some bok choy, and some red peppers. And we'll save the green uh, onions where's for the very the end. Where's the zucchini? Right there, right on the edge oh, there. Oh, there, a zucchini was hidden. Yep. From our garden, potatoes from our garden, and that's it. I'll stop posting about So that. really, the, but the bottom line here is you can saute any vegetable to put in the bottom, of, bottom of, of our approach to a ramen bowl. I'm sure that if you were a purist, there are certain things, that only certain things that go into a ramen bowl. But in our case, any vegetable at the bottom of the vegetable drawer, doesn't matter. We just saute it, soften it up, and then we're going to pour hot water. You can put kale, you can put napa cabbage. Yeah. All right, this is hot right now. How do you want Yep, it? we're just going to start putting veggies in. So. Ooh. So are they just going to be sort of lightning, li lightning, L light, I can't speak right now, lightly, here, you're, you, you're driving. Just add a little bit of water. Yep. That's just kind of a steam, steam fry. Yeah, it's like a steam saute. Blanche, whatever you want to, whatever term you want to use. You know, vegetables alone you just smell don't so need good. Oil. Oh, it's no. crazy. No oil. No oil no needed. Oil. Especially in a ramen bowl. You want it to be light. I, 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 may be, ooh, I may be saying something wrong there about traditional ramen, but this ramen, it's just so nice to have it be light, light, light. Um, Brian, you probably don't really need to cook any of those too long. You don't have to cook them too long, but I don't like my vegetables to be hard. You, know? don't, you want them to be soft in the ramen bowl. Um, and so uh, I'm just going to saute them until they're soft. I like to have my, the mushrooms not be, um, some squeaky? people love squeaky, spongy. Yeah. 
I, but if you like it, good on you. But I actually think that they taste that the veggies taste better when you singe them a little bit, when you when you uh, caramelize a little bit. Some of the sugars come out of the veggies and they they actually brown a little bit. Um, so you don't want to put too much water in because that'll prevent that from happening. So we were gonna keep sautéing and we're back in a second and it'll be ready to assemble. Okay. Okay, so all right, it's a bowl assembly time. We have sautéed the veggies, so you, you can you can see the veggies are just just nice and soft. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I like how you burn it. Oops, sorry. See how he, you kind of burn. He kind of you kind of yeah. Um, you singe him a little bit. Yeah, that's. And so this is all. This is going to start to be piled into the bowl. But first, we've got to flavor the bowls. And so the way to flavor the bowls is. We take a, some organic mellow white miso, and I'm just going to take probably the equivalent of... We have a tablespoon in the A book. tablespoon. I think that's what... I want to make sure we have the same amounts as he's doing, because he's such an artist, artiste, that he changes it sometimes. And, okay. You can never have enough miso, I think. So you can see I'm just sticking this wad in the bottom of the bowl. Now I'm going to take... Yeah, you did a tablespoon of each. You did a tablespoon of each. Now I'm going to take... A tablespoon. A tablespoon <laughs> of red curry paste. And this curry paste is just says Thai Kitchen Red Curry Paste, authentic. Show weight at the knit label. There you go. So I'll throw about a tablespoon at the bottom of the bowl. Then I'll take some hoisin sauce. This is just plain old hoisin sauce from the, I think I even got it at Walmart, believe it or not. About a tablespoon. About a tablespoon. I'd measure. So you can see the bottom of the bowl is actually quite beautiful. And so it's this is where the flavor is all going to come from. Now I'm going to build the bowl on top of it. Then before I, before I eat it, I'm going to mix up the bottom and make sure that all the good flavoring gets mixed in. So the next thing I'm going to do is this stuff. I always end up having more take the things. veggies and just plop them right on top of the pile. Mm. Now, I, I, I know we've got a little bit left. We probably have enough to make one more bowl, but I don't want to... Um, Anne's going to get mad at me because she thinks I'm going to waste them. Because she always gets mad when I've wasted them. I don't get mad. Hey, just... I get impressed. <laughs> <laughs> How can I get mad at you? So now I'm taking um, a little handful of the potatoes that were pre-baked. Just adding some, some of those. You don't want to overload the bowl too much because uh, once you put the noodles in, you don't want it to be like. Um, Except it's so good, you kind of wish it were like that. <laughs> true, true. So now I've got the I've got these cold noodles that I've got to warm up, and the way to warm them up is I'm going to put them in a strainer and pour hot water over the top of them, and then I'm going to save that hot water because the water the hot water is going to end up becoming the broth. Oh. So I'm going to take this. You can like. Here, let's move the faucet so you can see. I'm going to pour it into the strainer, and then I've got a thing of hot water. I'm going to pour over top of it to warm it up. Oh, so this is boiling water. Pour that over the noodles to warm them up, and then I'm saving the water. Brian, what if your noodles were already hot? Uh, you got to save the water, though. Oh. This was not the strainer to use, I'm finding. <laughs> Slow strain. It's a that's slow okay. strain. Yeah, that, that was more of a berry bowl. What about this? I don't, so it'll, it'll, it'll go. It'll go. It'll, it'll work. It'll just take some time. Yeah, slow strainer. But you can see the, wa the, bro the water below is kind of brothy. Do you want a ladle, Brian? I will need a ladle in a second. Okie doke. All right, just took a second to... So now I've got the hot water I'm going to use to add at the end, but I'm going to put the no noodles on first. And we can put the hot water up here so we can see that cool move. So I've got to get the noodles on there. So I'm just taking a big fork here, piling some noodles on. Watch out, Lily. Can you, can you see, Wade? Mm -hmm. Are our big bowls blocking the view? It's going to move so they can see. 
Brian just has an instinct for when to stop and just how much. I just I love these noodles so much. Okay, so now comes the water. So we've got the water we saved when we poured it over top. And I'm just going to add that in and fill up the rest of the bowl with this hot water. Do you want to put this in yet? The tofu was hiding behind. It's so soothing. It, that, I think that's what, what I like about the way you cook is it's so soothing. Like it's, I, I have a little bit of chaos <laughs> when I cook, I feel like. You're just kind of building step by step. Now we've got some tofu, handful of tofu. This is just uncooked tofu. We're just gonna throw it on top there. Now we gotta mix a little bit. So we got all that amazing stuff at the bottom. We just have to take a spoon and mix it up get all that flavoring mixed in. So we've got all that uh, miso at the bottom and the curry paste. Mm. You can smell it. This is such, that's the delicious move. Sometimes if I don't mix it well enough, I suddenly get a mouthful of like, oh, miso or... Which is good, I think. <laughs> you like it? I like that. It's nice and salty. Here are your, here are your beautiful sprigs. Yep, that's the last thing we're going to do. All right, so we've mixed up the flavoring, and the last thing we're going to do is take some uh, green onions, just some slices of green onion, and cook and make them into these ribbons that go right on the top, which is really beautiful. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. And he just, just took the end of the end of the scallion and then cut it in a couple pieces. And to be especially chefy at the end, you take your hoisin sauce in a squeeze bottle. And you just do a drizzle and kind of oh. go on to the edges a little bit. I love the extra hoisin because it's kind of sweet. Of course. Ooh. And there you go. Ooh. Ooh. Ryan. Ooh. Simple ramen bowl. Okay. It is time to taste it. How do we taste it? Do, what, do we, what do we use? Spoon. Definitely a spoon. Oh, spoon. And, and why do you know spoon or fork? I use a fork sometimes because I want to get all the... It's one of those meals things. you actually can use a spoon, a fork, and chopsticks all at the same time. Well, chopsticks yes, are probably like chopsticks, don't you? Yeah. With this. It's fun with the noodles, but then you can't get the you can't get the yeah the broth. All right, you can try your own. Brian and I we eat out of the same bowl often, often, often. So how is it? Just yep. Just, you just got to mix. So make sure you mix up that miso well, at I, the bottom. I, I want to eat out of your bowl and let Wade eat out of this bowl. Oh. How's that? Okay. Well, here. I, I just. Here, we give him. We just give him a spoon. <laughs> Give him a fork. Spoon. Mm. All right. Oh, so many flavors. So many yummy flavors. Mm. Oh. What do you think? Yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible. So many flavors. Yeah. I could, I'm going to eat the whole bowl. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You get to eat the whole bowl. All right, Brian. Oh my gosh, thank you. Page two four seven. Of our, is that the right number? Two four seven. I think so. Of our, I'm trying a fork now. Of our cookbook, and it's black ramen. The black ramen bowl. Look, I love it because he's look, holding it with his cool. It worked work well with a fork. Yeah, and I love how the noodles kind of match his tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey. Hope you enjoy your black ramen bowl. Let us know what you put in it if you didn't put in stuff that we put in. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.